It's been quite a while since we last saw Brian Tracy working as the co-host of King TV's Evening Magazine, but don't think for just one second he's been sitting around at home twiddling his thumbs. No, Brian's been playing with ducks. Actually, these are not the kind of ducks that have two webbed feet, go quack quack and swim around in the water. Brian is the co-owner of a business called Ride the Ducks of Seattle. This duck was an amphibious landing craft developed by the United States Army for use during World War II. It was designed to deliver cargo from ships at sea directly to the shore. Today the ducks are being used throughout the United States in a totally different way, predominantly for sightseeing ventures, and Seattle is proving to be no exception. This is a party on wheels. This is not like your normal tour. Um, you know, a normal tour, you'd go by the Space Needle and the driver would say, well, this is the Space Needle and it's 605 feet tall and blah, 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 blah. What we do is we sell fun. This is a party. People get on. We've got sound effects. We've got music on board. The drivers are all characters. Just to give you a name, we've got Captain Empty Pockets, Captain Hua, Captain Show Me More Stuff. I mean, we've got all kinds of great Seymour stuff, excuse me. Uh, Captain Hook, and so we sell fun on this thing. You not only get a chance to go around the city and see all of the sights and the attractions, but then we drive this thing, we drive it right into Lake Union. And what's great about it is, is that the people get the experience of a land and a water tour, but they're having fun while they're doing it. You see all the things that the other sightseeing tours give you, but you have a ball while you're doing it. What did you guys think of the duck? Great tour, right? This is, this is a group of folks here today from Air Touch Cellular from Bellevue. Yep. All right, and they all enjoyed the tour. And your name is? Jill. And Jill, where are you from? Taipei, Taiwan. So you're visiting. Okay, what did you think of the duck? Good, very fun. All right, I'm with the captain here. This is Captain Dewey Party. Captain, what is your favorite part about this job? My favorite part is the uh, opportunity to stay home and not go away to sea anymore. And now I get to meet nice people and have fun. And uh, it's a great city, and I've always loved it. So I have a good time doing my job. To ensure the safety of the people riding the ducks, several elements come together. What we do is, if you take a look at this duck, all right, this is, uh, as I said, an old World War II amphibious landing craft. What we do is we take it down to the bare hull. I mean, every nut and bolt. And then we put in new engines, we put in fire retardant systems, we put in, uh, um, we put in uh, new braking systems. We do everything to ensure the safety of the public. These, the Coast Guard here in Seattle has actually said that we have the safest ducks in the country. They've come out and inspected us a couple of times, and that's because these are remanufactured in Branson, Missouri by a gentleman that's been doing it for 30 years. And he's engineered all kinds of safety equipment into this duck that nobody else has. Yes, it is true. The ducks are keeping Brian very busy these days. But if you're thinking that he is out of the television business altogether, think again. He is president of Tracy Entertainment. He recently finished filming 50 episodes of Gimme Shelter, a home improvement show for the Discovery Channel that was their number one show for the 7 p.m. time slot. He also has a new television project in the works. Well, I'm one of those guys that I can't just sit around and wait for something to happen. So I try to make things happen. And consequently, that's why I have Ride the Ducks here. But when I'm not doing Ride the Ducks, I'm al I also have a television production company. And uh, we're in the process of selling television shows right now. You know, I did Gimme Shelter, but that was as a host of the show. But my production company also produces television shows. And right now, I'm about this close to selling a television called show called Celebrities Are Parents Too. And it's going to be for national syndication. And it actually takes celebrities in the context of their homes and their families and talks about parenting issues, things that I think that are very important today, you know, with the advent of all of these killings in schools and parents not knowing where to go for, for, to for resources. It's a great format for a show that will bring some, some parenting skills and some advice the parents that need it so badly today with two working uh, members of the family. Twilight Just in case any once, of you are wondering twice, if Brian still keeps in touch with his former co-host of Evening Magazine, Penny LeGate. Away, up next. We'll, try well, Penny and I are absolute best friends. We have been since the first day I met her when I got off the plane from Boston, Massachusetts. I got into a limousine and who was sitting there? Penny LeGate. We've been best friends since that day. I talked to her, I would say, at least three times a week and we're hoping that someday we'll be able to do another project together because, uh, like I said, it's, it's very rare in this right business that you meet someone and you get to work with someone that it really like works. And neither one of you can take credit for that. It's the chemistry between the two of you that works. 
and I love her to death. I, you know, the most fun I've ever had in my whole life was working for nine years with Penny Legate. If you and your friends and family and out-of-town guests are looking for a great way to uh, see Seattle... Excuse, excuse me, John. Excuse me. Do you, mind if, do you mind if I do this close here? You're the, you're the you, pro. Okay, you Go can, ahead. You can stand right here, okay? Yeah. Now, this is the shameless plug that we're going to do right oh, now. Fine. You know, I feel like Penny Legate right now. Oh, you want to feel like Penny? Yeah, okay, you're going to stand, right you gotta, stand on this side. On if this you side. ever noticed, all right. she was always on this side. Oh, all right? Okay, all right. Take and, it away. And she's a little prettier than you, too. Yeah, By the way, Ride the Ducks is open seven days a week, all year round, rain or shine. We've got roll-down windows and heaters on board. And our 1-800 number is what? You're the 1 800 817 1116. That's 1 800 817 1116. Or if you're in Seattle and you can't remember that number, just think of 206 441 Duck. 206 441 Duck. We do parties, bar mitzvahs, we do uh, weddings, we do Christmas parties. Tell me when to stop, all right? We well, do you, Christmas parties. I was going to throw we in your do, website. You oh, can check oh. them out online if you're online at home. Ride the ducks at Seattle.com. Thank you very much, John. Well, Good job. Letters. Good job. Right. All right, there we go. We're You're finished. actually better than Penny. <laughs> Thank you. Let's get out of here. All right, let's go this way.